Hi there, ready to install your ZER6000PL-CPM? Excellent. I'll walk you through the steps and throw in a few pro tips to save you some time and labor along the way. But before we do that, your flush valve should include these parts. Here are some of the recommended tools for installation. Ok, let's get started. First, shut off the main water supply. Measure the distance from the finished wall to the center of the fixture spud. If need be, cut your water pipe to be an inch and a quarter shorter than the measurement from the wall. Then, sweat on the adapter, as seen here, already installed. Slide the chrome tube over the water pipe. It should reach from the wall to the first thread on the adapter. If need be, cut the chrome tube to fit. Slide the cast wall escutcheon over the chrome tube all the way until it's flush against the wall. Then tighten the set screw with an Allen wrench. To ensure a watertight connection, wrap the threads on the adapter with PTFE pipe thread tape and or pipe thread sealer as desired. Thread the control stop valve onto the water supply pipe. Close the stop valve with your flathead screwdriver by turning the screw clockwise. It's crucial to do this before you turn on the main water supply, after you've verified that the control stop is closed. Turn on the main water supply. Place a bucket next to the stop valve outlet. Slowly open the stop valve, turning the screw counterclockwise. Let approximately two gallons of water flush through the pipe and into the bucket. Then, close the stop valve. Inspect the flush valve to make sure the stop ring is in place and the O-ring is seated within the O-ring groove at the end of the tailpiece. If need be, lubricate the O-ring with water. Insert the flush valve tailpiece into the control stop valve. Hand tighten the nut and secure the connection with a smooth jawed wrench. Determine the length of the vacuum breaker tube required to join the flush valve and the fixture spud. If need be, cut the vacuum breaker tube to fit. Insert the vacuum breaker into the top of the vacuum breaker tube. Then, from the bottom up, slide on the tube nut, the spud nut, the slip gasket, and the rubber washer. Place the spud escutcheon over the fixture spud. Then, insert the vacuum breaker tube into the fixture spud and up into place. Hand tighten the tube nut and the spud nut. Then secure all connections with your smooth jawed wrench. Now we're ready to install the Easy Flush sensor assembly. Insert the red gasket into the end of the sensor assembly and thread on the nut. Tighten the connection with the wrench supplied with your Easy Flush sensor. Remove the battery tray from the sensor assembly with your Allen wrench and install the four C batteries as depicted. Do not mix lithium and alkaline batteries. Use one or the other. Reinstall the battery tray. Once installed, you'll hear the gears turn, letting you know that the unit has power. The Easy Flush unit has a 10 minute startup sequence in which the sensor will flash the user in view yellow LED continuously as long as a user is in view. After the sequence is completed and when the sensor has a user in view, the yellow LED will flash only three times but after a five second delay. This delay prevents needless flushes when someone walks by. If you need to adjust your sensor activation distance, remove the battery tray once again and remove the faceplate of the Easy Flush sensor assembly. With the faceplate off the unit, reinstall the battery tray to activate the unit. Grab the sensor adjustment tool from its place, as seen here. Stand at the desired activation distance from the sensor. Using the sensor adjustment tool, turn down the sensor sensitivity all the way and then slowly back up until the yellow LED begins to flash. Ensure the sensor does not detect the stalled door or a wall by stepping out of the sensor path and making sure the yellow LED is not flashing. 
If it is, you'll need to shorten the activation distance. Next, remove the battery tray again. Replace the sensor adjustment tool and the cover, then reinstall the battery tray. Open the control stop valve with your flathead screwdriver to turn on the water to the unit. Then install the vandal resistant stop valve cover. The flush valve is now ready for normal operation. I hope you found this installation video helpful. If you encountered issues, you can reach out to Zern's expert team for support. And check out our library of other how-to videos on our YouTube channel. Thank you.